This is a Mandela effect video. I will try to recreate the chalice that, um, or the holy grail uh, that was on the table of the last supper. I'll recreate it and then um, maybe something more. So I'll use this one. It had a bit different shape, a bit different appearance. I'll use this one. Okay. So I already did it. I cut it out. And uh, something like that, I, I remember. Um, so um, also the the quality of this uh, painting have degraded uh, since uh, I remember it. it. It had better quality earlier. It's been uh, it's become worse. This this painting it was more crisp uh, earlier, and uh, yeah, the chalice was here. Maybe it was a bit more shaped like. Like um, I don't know how to, to explain, but it was a bit different, uh, slightly different than this. But yeah, maybe not that color either. It's just more of the shape, the position. Um, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. It's just I'm trying to see if if other people remember this here. You know. Uh, it it was a chalice on the table. Okay, let's make it a bit smaller so that it's realistic. Um, let's do like that. Okay. So the thing is, uh, this uh, artwork speaks volumes to me because um, it is almost personal in some way. Um, that's why I got emotional in one of my videos. Um, I'm realizing something here that you know the the Da Vinci Code, you know the the book, the movie. It it talks about this about yeah the 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 chalice is not even there in the book, you know, but it is in Mary Magdalene. Someone says that it's. Uh, John or something I mean this is a clear woman's face and what and like I mean it's just BS okay why would they put a woman next to Jesus you know doesn't make sense I mean there's too many data points for me personally I personally can re relate to this artwork okay in a way that I wish you could. I, I wish you could share my 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 experience, and this is why. I mean, art art is very personal to me, and especially this this art here. It's 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 making me cry. You know, I'm not going to do it again because I already realized what it is, and it has to do with a with a female power, and. Um, it's so hard to explain and there is some personal things that I don't want to tell you and that's why I mean let's say let's say for some chance I would get famous in 10 years okay for, for, for the discovery of the philosopher's stone for example then the personal thing would leak out okay I, I i would talk about it in, in like 10 years this uh, because there's something very personal to me that that makes me realize that 
the the female the woman is is the is the philosopher's stone the holy grail and so i'll take it again with with a more sensible uh, calm um, approach okay and it's it, it it is honorable to talk about it's honorable to realize this because uh, when it comes to all things understanding it understanding something is connected to power okay and you want to have power i want to have power everything wants to uh, wants to do that okay i i think so at least um so as i said before the this is something that many people could agree on okay and from my research research the philosopher's stone is the pearl inside the mind you see and and inside the mind the the psychology of a man according to carl jung is the anima that's the the shadow mind the the hidden unconscious mind of a man is more prone to be a woman and that's that's interesting and, and it's it's supposed to be like that because we as men need to know what women like okay the only way to to um, uh, appropriate yourself into what a woman prefers is to have a little woman inside of your mind and that's actually what's going on and what kind of woman do you have inside your mi mind you have the perfect woman woman inside this pineal gland inside this shadow mind you have the woman um you have the female god okay it's like something similar to that okay you will you will never find a woman like the woman you have in your mind okay and uh, um so and 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 this made me realize that it's actually all about the female okay and i'm i'm serious about this and and this also you know there are two things about the philosopher's stone that that is um, pointing to what it is it is the milk it's the milk and it is the pearl okay so and you rem rem remember this disappeared from the artwork and if you re maybe remember that the artwork has degraded it it looked better before i don't know if you remember that but maybe some people do you know for for me artwork is changing okay it is alive the artwork for me an artist never stops painting it always paints it will never stop painting a painting the painting is like a movie almost okay but very slow very 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 slow movie okay it it is a still image but it is suddenly a chalice disappears like like in this case a chalice has disappeared okay and and the riddle of this you know so So the artist has this connection to to the truth when it paints and it uh, it, it it is trying to convey convey this message which it gets directly from the 
from from the divine you know it has a message from the divine and so the idea from the uh, from the da vinci code is that uh, the chalice is instead the shape here between them both you know and in a sense uh, you have the blood and you have the thing that contains the blood you know and so a complete chalice has both the vessel and the blood you know so in the mind of the pearl there is another chalice inside here there is a chalice this is a chalice this is the holy grail this is also the holy grail okay so and yeah i mean for me this is very personal very personal and that's why i i am so emotional about this because um, it's confusing me and um about how much the art is actually um yeah you know maybe i'll talk about this in like 10 years or something okay i'm not going to talk about this it's, it's too personal uh, 10 years something like that if, if if it's necessary right i i uh, will see okay maybe in 10 years <laughs> okay uh, so let's have it there okay so yeah see you guys another time this chalice disappeared it it looked um, didn't have this okay let's fix the color a bit okay it, it's the same color as as the as uh, wait ah cancel the Let's do uh, less saturation. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Something like that. Like that, right? So the same sat saturation as the rest of the image. Okay. Um, so yeah, very personal stuff. Um, but to me it points to the female and understanding this female is empowering you know if i if if i there's a chance that i i'm going to discover more about the female and every time i discover that um i'll get power okay it's power it's it's, it's so simple like understanding things give you power and me understanding the female being connected to this is simply powerful and that's all that's all um, and same for you when you when you discover things like these uh, little riddles that surround you you realize them and you get uh, power in some sense from that see you bye